Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Alam. I hope you are doing good. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix error for not for not found in WordPress. I'm going to show you how you can fix this error using .ht access file in your file manager. So first of all, let me show you what exactly this error is. If I visit my website, tipswithalam.com, I'm able to access my homepage. But when I go to uh, different pages, I'm getting this error. You can see I'm getting the same error in the block page, in the deal section, and in rest of the pages. So this is a server error because uh, when you have a .ht access file in your server, and if there are some changes or if there are some modification done to it, uh, you are likely to face this issue. Now to fix this, you have to log into your cPanel. I'm inside my cPanel and go to file manager. This will open the file manager in a new window. And uh, here in the file manager, go to public underscore HTML, this one, open this file. And here you should see a file with the name dot HT access. So this is the server file that I'm talking about. If you want, you can view this or edit this. If I click on edit, I'll click on edit again. So it, there are some codes and this thing and I can see there are some changes done to it. Uh, that is the reason why I'm getting this for not for error. So instead of going through all this and trying to figure out, I would suggest you to go back and delete this file. Confirm and click on file. Give the name as .ht access. Click on create. Click on create new file. Now our new ht access file is created. Right click and go to edit. Click on edit again. Here you have to write the default ht access code. If you don't know the default ht access code, just open a new tab and type ht access default code and hit enter. Open this first website from WordPress. And here you should see ht access code for basic website. If you have a multi site, you can use this one. So I will just copy this and go back to my ht access file and paste it. Then click on save changes. and close this file. Now go back to file manager and click on reload. Now our HT access is ready. Go back to the, go back to your website and try again. I'll go to block session and you can see I'm not getting the same error again. I can open all these pages without the for not for page not found error. So that's pretty much about it. I will give a link to this website in my description. You can find it from there. And uh, if you want more videos on WordPress, cPanel, SEO, you can explore my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.